it's 1986. It's time you took the kids on a holiday. And you're on the jetty and you're waiting for the boat. The kids are overexcited. You're excited. You're going to board maybe a plane, maybe a boat. And you arrive on the island of this beautiful train, this beautiful surroundings that takes you to the most scenic resort you've ever seen. You can't believe the beauty. You can't believe you haven't seen this place before. Oh, it's so magnificent. And you're about to have a week there. Well, here we are. Me and I back on Brampton Island. Hello to all of you who enjoyed Brampton Island number one. This is Brampton Island number two. And uh, we're going to go have a look at the railway line now. We've got our boat nicely moored out the front. And uh, we're going to go have a look. Some of the issues of living up north of the tides, that they were really quite big tides. So anchorage was an issue at Brampton Island. So they found a deep anchorage and they took a train line from the resort to the anchorage. You can see this train line here in the previous shot. You get an idea of where we think the anchorage was. Please let us know if that was correct. We're, we're really interested to know, is that where the anchorage was? Uh, leave us a comment in the comments. Hey Paul, can you hear the train coming? It's about 30 years late. But I can't hear it, no. These tracks have been a long time. We're just going to follow where they go from. Let's go, let's go and find out. We found this creek running under the bridge. It's from up the mountain. So let's look at this water, this creek. Taste it. Oh, I'm not tasting it, but what? it's very cool. Is it? Yeah. Refreshing. Rump the mountain. Just lick it. Just put it on your finger and taste it. Any salt? No, it's fresh. Fresh water? Mm. Alright, we get marooned on this island, Brandon Island, we found your water supply. You know, 30 years ago they built stuff to last a long time. Look. Look at that. Look at the pebbles on that, they'll be here for another 50 years, look at them. Uh, just overgoing this little freshwater culvert. Uh, let's keep following the train tracks then. The walk's 2.7 kilometres one way, that way. We're not doing it, heaps of people have done it. Watch their channels, we're not doing the walk. I'll check with Liam. Are we doing the walk? Nope. nope. There's our boat in the background. I think, there, I think there might be a rubbery ahead and the reason I think that is because someone's put all these big rocks on the track. Must be, must be trying to get the payroll. Island, we're doing a, our second episode of Brampton Island. It's come out, it's been an overcast day, hot but beautiful. Uh, so behind us you can see uh, the resort and then slightly to the uh, right of me there is the pool right behind me there the old pool and then to the left there you can see the metal from the rail line and some conduits so that used to run all along the beach here uh, but it's been washed washed out part of the way so we can't follow follow the line so if you're quiet we'll try and sneak in and we'll see if we can get closer to the resort well, we did this in Brampton Island number one. Please check out our YouTube video of this. And would you please, we really appreciate it. It allows us to do this, to subscribe and like, please. We got lots of comments from the last video, and I'd love to go through some of the comments that we had with you today. Um, Sharon says this. She says, what a waste. Such a beautiful island. I had at least 12 holidays there. It's so sad. Pauline says, so angry that this has been allowed to happen to this beautiful place in our magical part of the world. At least us, the locals, will have our beautiful memories. Maz says, oh, it's so, so sad. I worked there in the 1990s and would go back and work there in a heartbeat. Uh, Sandra says, how very sad. My father was related to the Bussetton family and we had many trips there as children and later enjoyed many holidays and adults on Brampton Island. Um, Helen says she worked there in the 60s and 70s and my heart is broken to see what has happened to her. We had so much fun in the pool. To keep the pool clean, they would wait until we had a king tide, clean it, and then wait for the king tide to refill. Once a shark ended up in the pool, and we all went for a night dip, only to feel something around our feet to find out the next day that it was a shark. There was never a dull moment on Brampton Island. 
Uh, John worked there in 1963, and it makes him so sad to see it now. Uh, Faye was there in 64, 65. Uh, Michelle says um, that Arthur was her uncle, and he started the resort, and she lived there and raised her two daughters there as well. Lee says, I went there 18 years ago for my honeymoon and have such great memories of the place. Lovely lady says she spent so many years swimming in the pool and as a kid and as an adult and that it was fantastic. Darren says, beautiful place. Arlene is a champion. Well, that's true. I'm actually going to Brampton Island today to do part two of our Brampton Island series. Uh, The boat ramp is packed. Uh, It's very exciting. Overcast, but no swell and not a lot of wind today. So we're looking forward to a great day today. We will see you out there. Lee and I out fishing today. We're going to Brampton Island to do part two of Brampton Island. It was a bit of a rough trip out, but not too bad. Uh, you might be able to see Leanne, I'm not sure. Uh, but we're having a go at fishing at one of my favourite spots. We'll uh, see how we go and see if we can get some fish. It's some sort of a wreck. I'm not sure whether it's a... Um, some say it's a plane wreck, some say that it's a shipwreck. I'm not sure, but there's a wreck and it has been a good fishing spot. But there's been plenty of sharks, so hopefully we won't have that problem. Uh, we'll lock in with you when we get a fish. Well, surprise, surprise, Leanne's yeah. onto a fish. Talk us through, Leanne, what do you think it is? Uh, it's it's not something huge, but it's pretty strong. I'm hoping for something red, but... <laughs> it's a little uh, grassy, maybe? No, it's, oh, it's red! Leanne's nanny. calling... Oh, she's got a small mouth nanny. Bring it in the boat, Leanne. Oh, that's a beauty. Hold up for the camera. That's... that's uh, that's, I think that's that's very good, Leanne. I think that'll be on size. Size. Well done, Leanne. Oh, thank you. Yep, got it. You got it? Yep. I'm not sure. Oh, it's nearly up. It's not red this time. Oh, maybe, yep, it is another nanny. Leanne with another nanny. I don't remember the score, Leanne, so. <laughs> I'll I'll keep the score in my head. So we're just drifting over the spot, the wreck, plane or boat, we're not sure. I just had a heap of bites when Leanne got a really nice 45 centimetre a smallmouth nanogai that's in the esky. I've seen the footage of that. And now we're just drifting across. We're not drifting very fast. We thought about anchoring, but it's really tough to anchor here, so we'll probably keep drifting. First one I've caught on this new lure. Oh, I lost it. So close. Too. So Mackay Tackle World reckon this was a winner. Uh, uh, I've casted it twice for three hookups today. The last one was just the Mac Tuna. We're gonna have to keep the Mac Tuna because um, we 
lost a lot of blood it's never going to survive so we'll make some more um if you're seeing leanne's recipe we'll make some more tuna rissoles they're pretty good um i'll get my fish Quite a nice mac tuna. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, great fish. Not much good, but we'll make some tuna. Tuna. What are we making, Lee? Mac tuna rissoles. They're pretty good. It's good fish. Ah! Blinking Ramora. <laughs> Lee's favourite fish. Waste of fishing. What a fish, what a waste. What a waste. It's Leanne's fish. Mm. Well, Leanne's made a match, I think. <laughs> gonna go up and dip mine on the down. Two hands. I heard you. Leanne appreciates my fishing advice. Since she catches more than me, I'm not sure I should be giving it. Oh. She's lost it. There is justice in this world. 